Yo, Unsuccess keeps spitting, and you're watching It's Just Music on Signature Series Network. Bye, Bye. Bye. Woo -woo. Woo -woo. Thanks, man. I just wrote some shit. Like, yeah, no problem. Yeah, yeah. I just got to write this shit. Now she's snoring, passed out. Got her laying in the bed, cream pie. Guess she's assed out. Took a bath, now I'm chilling on the couch while she texts her old man. All of a sudden, now she blacked out. Let me think for just a second. Got you on film for my dick, and you was begging. Took the detective in the bathroom. How you suck my dick? Got you dancing on video. Pills for dirty tricks. You made it into something that you know it fucking wasn't. All your lies got exposed from the semen on your clothes. Made copies of videos. Seen her drugs in her nose. Hope that girl don't know what that you came up that was closed Just a hoe, a dirty slut that screamed rape A sex tape might escape You look stupid and it's great You should've seen his face When I showed the cop my evidence It's like it's heaven's sin Only backwards and it's evident Two sinners at the time I thought it's funny Shake that ass girl The video will bring us money What a failure The video's a joke I really look stupid And we all look high and dope FBI open up They're knocking at the door No one answer to hoes Say your mouth the beat poke Just grab your shit and go Cause I'm not stupid Stupid in the know that you fucked the hoe, can't take it now, mo. <laughs> Bitch, look what you gonna do and did. Lost your boyfriend and your son, your partner, cause you. What up, y'all? LB Sydney making another video for my sickos. So check this out Dirty Little Christmas. Jam. Success. Success keeps spitting. Can't even talk today. Jeez.
fuck did we just watch? Let's talk to this crazy fuck. What's up, man? I'm LB Sydney. Welcome to It's Just Music, man. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hell yeah. I am Success Keeps Spitting. Uh, I'm from Spokane, Washington. And um, I make like horrorcore, the wicked shit, and hip hop. You know what I'm saying? Depending on my mood. Right, right. I feel like, so what first got you into music? Uh, what first got me into music? Hella fucking like ICP. You know what I'm saying? Like back in the day, I thought like basically all rap was like uh, like Lil John and like Birdman and shit like that. And back in the day, so I was just like a rocker. And then fucking, I like pretty much discovered like Eminem and like ICP and shit like that. And then um, from there, I like started getting into like Twisted and fucking ABK. And I just started like eating up Juggalo music as fast as I could fucking find it. Like if I could fucking find something I hadn't heard yet, that was like the mission. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. And then after that, I started going to like shows and shit. And there was a local act at that time uh, called Knothead. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. Uh, yeah, he's on my Twitter. Yeah, so fucking, uh, I want to say that was uh, the Monsters Ball, number one. And then shortly after that, because uh, I remember I went to that show and I was like, ah, oh, man, these guys are from here, you know, like, because uh, it was like, not head was rolling with like a bunch of other cats. You know what I'm saying? At that point, like the bound by narcotics, uh, mafia and fucking shortly after I saw that show and it had like not head. And like, I want to say like Kaga and M dub and like, Oh yeah. Livid undead at that point. I think, uh, they're element X now or something like that. Um, but it was, like, badass, because, like, they gave out, like, this fucking uh, hatchet thing, you know what I'm saying? It was, like, engraved with this cartoon image of, like, their whole crew on it and shit. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and then shortly after that, uh, I fucking ended up going to a show where, uh, basically, it was my homies, like, uh, Sick, and he was a part of this group called Spoke Kings, and then, um... It was like the Crown Street Boys, which was like this cat, Jesse B Dog, and fucking Cruz. And at that point, he was called Legally Insane. Pretty sure he's going by like his regular name at this point. Um, and uh, it's hard to keep up. With all yeah, um, it's hard to keep up with all, with everybody. I don't remember who was the other person on the show. Huh? I'm trying to remember who else was on the show, but anyways, like when I attended that show, I uh, pretty much was like in my head, I was like, these guys are like local and they're doing it and they're fucking juggalos. Right. That's dope. So uh, you mentioned Eminem and you mentioned ICP and, and a couple other artists. Who else inspired you to make music? So, yeah, like I was saying, I got into, like, Twisted, and Twisted's hella inspiring. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty much, like, into all of their shit. I don't think I've ever heard, like, an album or anything like that from them I haven't liked. What's your creative process like? A lot of the times, like, I draw inspiration from Juggalo music. So, like, Twisted and ICP, Blaze and ABK and shit like that. But then I'll draw inspiration from places like video games and, like, anime and shit, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, and uh, Ritz. I draw a lot of inspiration from him, him nowadays as well. Ritz is dope, man. Uh, I got a cameo off of him to use as a drop. It was pretty cool he gave that to me, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Hell, so, yeah. You didn't have to do that, you know what I mean? He knew what he was Yeah. <laughs> You want to be on TV? Showcase to thousands of new fans all around the world? Well, here at Signature Series Network, 
We offer a variety of content to showcase your talent, to put your brand on the map. Get your music videos on shows like Vibin' with K. Will. Or get your music video on Blaze Hunters Top 10 Music Video Countdown Show and get that number one spot. Be interviewed live by the one and only Mr. Cooper on Combos with Mr. Cooper. And let your fans and thousands of new fans know all about your brand. Find out if your song is going to get boasted or roasted with the homie Spider on Boast or Roast. And there's a whole lot more. Have your music showcased on Sicko ENT's It's Just Music. Hosted by Mr. Sicko himself, Phil V. Sickman. Have your music broken live by the record breaker himself, the world famous DJ Epps. Hey, yo, Epps, let these mother know. Put some respect on your own name. Fire TV, Roku TV, the Signature Series Network. You want to stand out from the rest? Claim your spot today. The shift is here. The Signature Series Network. Subscribe today. All right, so check this out. This is spitting. Success keeps spitting. Spinning. I don't know what the fuck it's called. Check it out. If I give that an eight, let's go. Check out more of this interview. Uh, who in the world would you like to most collaborate with? Anybody in the world? Twisted. Jamie Madrox, specifically. Yeah? Fuck yeah, no doubt. I feel like uh, their best album... I'd have to say it's the Green Book, in my opinion. You know, yeah, that, Book, that album is pretty Green good. Book was just, it was just a great time. It was a great era. Fuck yeah! I feel like um, what is that song? Uh, Marsh Lagoon. That shit is filthy. Yeah, I like the uh, the whole entire album. Hell yeah! I used I used to sit with that one and, and the Ray Shangri La. I'd sit with the two speakers with my head down, two speakers with both sides of my head, you know what I'm saying, blasting that music, you know what I mean? The show was dope. Hell yeah, man. I love that. Um, if you could go open up a show for anybody, is it the same answer, Twisted? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Probably just still Twisted, you know what I'm saying? Or to be honest, I feel like as far as like doing a show goes, like if I could pick anyone on the planet, probably Eminem, because he's like the most famous motherfucker on the planet. Right, right. No, so, no, not. So, what's one message you would like to give just your fans that the world can't hear? Only your fans can hear it. Okay, sorry. What again? What What is one message you'd like to give to your fans? Only your fans. The rest of the world cannot hear the message. All right. Uh, basically, be creative, be unique, and be yourself. Fucking. The music that I make is always like an expression of one form or another. Uh, when I make like murder raps and shit, like that's because I'm into like horrorcore and like horror movies and shit like that. So it's my way of giving back to that genre. But then I also have like shit like on my upcoming album Dreamer, where it's like more based in reality and basically just more about me and how I feel about like the rap game and like marijuana and different various topics. Right, man. Be creative, dog. That's dope. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now speak your mind, you know, agree to disagree with some stuff. You know what I mean? Absolutely. You got to do as artists. You know what I mean? Uh, so what, so what is the most useless talent you have? The most useless talent I have. All right. Um, let's see here. <laughs> All right, uh, all right. I can fucking talk about like Dragon Ball and like Dragon Ball Z and GT and Super for like fucking hours. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like your ability to like my ability to like pretty much like retain knowledge Dragon Ball wise is like greater than my ability to maintain real life knowledge and like information about like people i know you know what i'm saying yeah yeah so okay i asked you earlier what's the message <laughs> what, what's what's the message you want to give to the world that don't ride with you that don't fuck with you you know what i mean um 
your grandmother is in a nursing home, and I will unplug her, you motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> and I guess that, too. <laughs> This fucking guy. <laughs> That's dope. <laughs> that is a unique answer. That's a unique answer for sure. <laughs> I'ma lift your legs up and dive on in and smear your makeup. I'ma hear you scream like you in labor. As soon as I rip your panties up, I stuck my fingers in and cover your mouth and tongue. Tell you if I came to win. Coming on my dick. I'm coming on your face. Coming on the mix of going, tell me how that tip. I'm telling homie, yo, turn. Never mind the rope bars. Now this bitch is useless. Now she got some drugs. Alright, so this is the last one from the homie. Carnage success. Uh, jeez. Carnage success keeps spitting. Yeah. Let it
बाद I definitely gotta say that was my favorite track of the three tracks that you sent in. That is horrorcore at its best. That deserves a ten. I said shit. What did he say? What what was that line? That's fucked up. How do you even think like that type shit? Yeah, horrorcore at its best. I love it. It's dope. So uh, oh, so when you're alone, man, you're riding in the car, you're in the shower, you're walking down the street, whatever you're doing, you're by yourself. Are you singing? Are you rapping in your head? What are you doing? Well, to be honest, I'm usually always, like, doing something. Uh, I'm usually playing, like, video games or music or, like, movies and, like, anime, shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, some facet of entertainment at all times. But uh, to answer your question, sometimes when I'm walking around, like, I'll be rapping in my head and, like, imagining, like, different things I could be saying on, like, the beat or whatever. But for the most part, I'm just usually thinking about, like, whatever I'm currently doing or about to be doing. They'd be, like, reporting me on TikTok and shit like that. Yeah, yeah with, with Juggle World Network, <clears throat> like... If you noticed when we did this, I don't know if you watched it on, on Synergy Series Network on Roku and shit, but uh, like before, before like every hour we had to put in a kind of like they did back when when they let out the shockumentary on fucking MTV. Yeah, be but advised, I, fucking you will about to see shocking content. Right, we had to do the same thing, but like the difference is, is I knew about it and I'm the one that wrote that, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all good. Um. It's all good. You know, it's cool that they gave us the, the 24 hours to do the juggle of day. It's dope. Oh, absolutely. Uh, so I'm definitely thinking that, like, I need to upgrade my TV and get one that has the ability for Roku because, like, pretty much all my shit's, like, older shit. You know what I'm saying? You can go to Walmart and get you a device that hooks up to whatever TV. Uh, my advice to you, though, is spend more than 50 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck, and I feel like a lot of cheaper shit at Walmart like breaks down immediately. Yeah, spend more than fifty dollars, you, you're not gonna get a good Roku. Like the Roku I got, I spent. I went out, got a cheap one, got it for like thirty bucks, some shit. It was on sale. A little, it's yeah, little, it's a little tiny square. It hooks up to my TV, and uh, it, it, it'll play for like five minutes, and then load, play for five minutes, load, play for five. That's fucking annoying. If you get a nice one, they don't do that. My neighbor has a really yeah. nice one. That's a really nice one. She watched, she constantly watches Signature Series Network. It's pretty dope. And, uh, Hell yeah. You know, hers is dope. Like, it don't ever do that. You know, it loads one time. That's it. You know? Absolutely. Anyways, man, let's get back into your interview, bro. Uh, so, Fuck yeah. If it wasn't for what, if it wasn't for music, what would you be doing right now, bro? Um, let's see here. Uh, jacking off into my own mouth on a pit of barbed wire broken needles, live bees, and used syringes. <laughs> oh, broken glass. You definitely sound like a juggalo. Full, full fucking force. Right. I love it. <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa, homie. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All the stuff that makes your girlfriend duck and hide in Walmart. Yes, oh yes. <laughs> Show me the hole. <laughs> I love it, homie. But, uh, uh, where are you performed, man? Uh, the main places that I've performed has been at this place called The Pen, and it was like the hop and the Cretan hop before that. And then there's this other place that was like Swax and Kings and The Emperors, and like a bunch of other dumbass fucking names. So what's, and then, what's your most favorite place to perform? My favorite place that I performed is probably the the Swax place because like I feel like the stage is huge. Uh, the area for like the guests has dope seating, like leather bound seats and shit. Cause like not everyone's gonna be like all about moshing the entire show. Sometimes you're gonna wanna be like, all right, time to like get a burger or like get a drink or whatever and just like sit down for a second. And I feel like you can do that there. Do you have any upcoming shows? I know COVID's going on, but shit's opening back up now. Not right now. Basically, I feel like I got to start 
call in different venues, but I haven't really started that process yet because everything's still super locked down up Where here in Spokane. From? Where are you from? So, uh, Spokane, Washington. Yeah, that's right. You said that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm trying to remember. I know, I know, I know of some other artists from Spokane. Name some artists from where you're at. Uh, my girlfriend Bobo LG is an artist who lives up here as well. And then, um, <clears throat> trying to think, there's a uh, like Twitch MC, and then my buddy Crew still does shit sometimes. I think. Uh, I have another friend named Neil Mo Jones. Uh, there was from that Spoke Kings crew that I was telling you about. There's somebody big that's from there. I can't remember who. Anyway. Um, how do you feel the internet has impacted your music business? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Do you think that you would make any money without it? I feel like the internet has definitely positively impacted my music business because I wasn't making any music before I started or in making any money before I started putting my music out on iTunes and shit like that. And I'm honestly not making a whole lot right now. Like basically every month or every other month, I get like 30 bucks. Uh, so definitely not like a livable wage or anything like that. But Hey, it adds up though, man. You know what I mean? That 30 bucks helps now and then. You know what I mean? Fuck yeah. Dabs. Let it keep banking, man. Let it keep banking. I mean, $30 a month. Think about that, bro. 12 months in a year, $30 a month. How much money is that at the end of the year? If you let that all sit there, then you got that money at the end of the year to put back into your music. Hell yeah, that's not a bad idea at all. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So, name five horrorcore rappers. Five favorite horrorcore rappers. All right, specifically horrorcore? Yeah. My fucking top horrorcore artist of all time is this guy named Eclipse of Doomsday Productions. I don't know if you've ever heard of them guys. Couldn't tell you, bro. <laughs> All right, well, Brother Lynch, I don't know if it's like his cousin because he's in a was in a gang with him or if it was like his cousin because they're like actually cousins or whatever. But uh, it's Brother Lynch Hong's younger cousin is Eclipse. And I feel like he's basically way better than Brother Lynch. Yeah, and it's, it's as soon as uh, as soon as my funds are right, man, I'm planning on uh, hopefully. He said yes to me, so uh, we'll see. Tris, Tris, jeez. Uh, yeah, I had him on the show, and uh, you know, funds at the moment. You know what I mean? We'll see what happens. Absolutely. So, what's your dream car? My dream car? Yeah. Um, I feel like a motorhome would basically be my like my dream car, or if it has to specifically be a car, probably like a hearse. I'm thinking. <laughs> I like this guy. He's pretty dark. <laughs> That's yeah. Fresh. That's fresh, man. So uh, how'd you hear Sicko ENT? Uh, I'm pretty sure my girlfriend told me about you and like told me to like follow you and stuff. That's dope, man. Um, yeah. That's dope, dog. Uh, well, welcome, bro. I appreciate you getting on the show, dude. You know what I'm saying? Learned a little bit about you. I'm going to finish the show. Oh, yeah. I'm going to finish the other part of the show a little bit later today this might come out tonight it'll be late though uh yeah if not tonight tomorrow uh, hell yeah one last question man would you ever play the gather the juggalos it's a dumbass question i already know the answer to it but i gotta ask it all right for sure the answer to that question is absolutely not only would i play at the gathering of the juggalos but right now that's like one of my biggest life goals is i want to fucking play on main stage at the gathering yeah me too we'll see what happens hopefully someday do not play this around your children i don't give a fuck do what you fucking want to do Let's end the show real quick. The fuck did I just release? It's really something. Oh yeah, I shit with fucking Triple Stack and Jason Master Boot. This was a surprise drop. Here we go. Jason Master Boot, Triple Stack, 
That'll be sickening. I don't give a fuck. Shout out to Jason. Shout out Triple Stack. Shout out to homie I just had on the show. Success keeps spitting. Yo, shout out to the homie that made this. You know, it's a girl that got, you know, she, she got gonged. Only be, you, there was a few reasons she got gonged. But this shit is dope. And it's signed by Violent J. It's signed by Jump Steady, Billy Bill, Violent J's son, Lil JJ. The the homie that made the, the shit, some random jugglet. And, uh, you know, this was the winner of the gong show. Uh, Socks was her name. So shout out to all y'all. Shout out to ICP. Shout out to Psychopathic Records. Show was dope. Hey y'all, it's your girl K. Will, and it's time for another edition of the K. Will Spotlight Report. Today we're spotlighting the brand new release of Blaze Hunter's new single, Shout Out to the Struggle, featuring LB Sickney and Rife from Sickle Entertainment. This trio has joined forces creating a hip hop classic that does not disappoint. You can find Shout Out to the Struggle on all streaming platforms. And their official music video is coming to soon. This is for another edition of the Cable Spotlight Report. Make sure you stay tuned in to the Blazer Up Music Radio Show. Take this opportunity to share your life feed and support the culture. It's a girl, K. Will. Stay safe. So I'ma get this to the struggle. Thank God for the struggle. Yeah. Everything I've ever been through, and how it that it, it couldn't knock me down. You know, I've only got stronger from it. Do you want to be on TV? Showcase to thousands of new fans all around the world. Well, here at Signature Series Network, we offer a variety of content to showcase your talent, to put your brand on the map. Get your music videos on shows like Vibin' with K. Will. Or get your music video on Blaze Hunter's Top 10 Music Video Countdown Show and get that number one spot. Be interviewed live by the one and only Mr. Cooper on combos with Mr. Cooper and let your fans and thousands of new fans know all about your brand. Find out if your song is going to get boasted or roasted with the homie Spider on Boast or Roast. And there's a whole lot more. Have your music showcased on Sicko ENT's It's Just Music hosted by Mr. Sicko himself, Phil V. Sickman. Have your music broken live by the record breaker himself, the world famous DJ Epps. Hey yo Epps, let these mother know. Put some respect on your own name. Fire TV, Roku TV, the Signature Series Network. You wanna stand out from the rest? Claim your spot today. The shift is here, the Signature Series Network. Subscribe today. You want to be on TV? Showcase to thousands of new fans all around the world? Well, here at Signature Series Network, we offer a variety of content to showcase your talent, to put your brand on the map. Get your music videos on shows like Vibin' with K. Will. Or get your music video on Blaze Hunter's Top 10 Music Video Countdown Show and get that number one spot. Be interviewed live by the one and only Mr. Cooper on Combos with Mr. Cooper. And let your fans and thousands of new fans know all about your brand. Find out if your song is going to get boasted or roasted with the homie Spider on Boast or Roast. And there's a whole lot more. Have your music showcased on Sicko ENT's It's Just Music. Hosted by Mr. Sicko himself, Phil V. Sickman. Have your music broken live by the record breaker himself, the world famous DJ Epps. Hey yo Epps, let these mother know. Put some respect on your own name. 
Fire TV, Roku TV, the Signature Series Network. You wanna stand out from the rest? Claim your spot today. The shift is here. The Signature Series Network. Subscribe today.